in the past I already made a video about how to measure small inductance coils. And I've published this circuit. In fact it's an oscillator, very simple oscillator. I think I made it with a field effect transistor. And when you connect your unknown inductance, that's here at the moment, this say a uh, blue knob in a certain way, there is a direct relation between the, um, the unknown inductance and the parallel capacitance that's also here inside this box and it will give out a certain frequency. And in the earlier video I've showed this table. So the whole idea of this meter is get your unknown inductance into oscillation, <coughs> connect it to a, a counter, frequency counter. In this case I've used this oscilloscope that has a frequency counter built in and um, when you know the frequency where that unknown coil works there is a direct relation to the inductance. It's a say coarse way of measuring the inductance but it gives a very good indication. So I uh, salvaged this board few days ago and I took out all the uh, inductors and the bipolar capacitors. It is a board of a VHF um, uh, video recorder, VHS, yeah, VHS video recorder. Beautifully, beautifully made. It is so extremely interesting to see what happens here in this board. It was a professional VHS video recorder but anyway everything was stuck. It, it was made approximately 20 years ago or so. So uh, it uh, did not work any longer and my idea is not to take all the electrolytics out because I have to test them and I have a lot of electrolytics in my stock anyway. Uh, that's not what this video is about. Well, um, the video is, <coughs> like I told, about the oscillation frequency related to the unknown coil inductance. And here you see quite a few of them, all uh, salvage uh, from that board from the video recorder and well I'm going to test them and then I know their inductance. This is the first test. I see on the scope uh, it oscillates on 96.2 kilohertz. That's here. And then I look to the table 9.6 kilohertz. Well that must be an induct inductance between these two values. 470 microhenry and 270 microhenry. When the cap is switched to um, one moment Cap switch to 4 and 7 and switch to position 2. Well, that's all right. You can see the capacitor that also makes the oscillator work is tuned, is set to 4 and 7, 4700 picofarad, and the switch is set to the position 2. And here is the cable that goes to the oscilloscope. So this is a very very simple way to get a good coarse indication of unknown inductances. Uh, that can help 
of course in ra radio uh, technology when you want to make a radio when you need say a smoothing inductance uh, for a certain electronic circuit and the good thing is that it simply works I will give the uh, description of this circuit in the and the link to the circuit that I made in the text box of this video thanks for watching